Hey everyone, how's it going? Hopefully you're all doing well. Just want to say a huge thank you. Um, everybody's been really, really amazing. Um, our YouTube channel is kind of evolving into a lot of different things it feels like right now. We've got uh, videos about grief. We've got videos, our, our pog vlog type videos where our family's out doing adventures. And then we've got our uh, acts of kindness videos. And it feels like we're going, but really quickly, I think it's going to feel like it's all going to come together. These are all things that we've wanted to do for, for over a year now. And we're kind of hindered um, by Sarah's physical ability to do these things and, and the time that it would take to kind of edit some of the videos, especially when we start doing the kindness videos and the family vlog adventures and stuff like that. So um, thank you for all of your wonderful comments and feedback and sharing. And it's really been helpful and it's helped not just myself, but Brayden. And I've also noticed it helping your guys' comments, helping each other. And I appreciate it very, very much. It's really hot outside. I was just looking, uh, <laughs> and it's 102 degrees right now. And holy cow, it's hot and humid. Um, whew. Anyway, my grieving process has been really interesting. Uh, so far it's, we're only, we're only a couple weeks after Sarah's passed and for the most part, I'm feeling like I'm functioning really well and I have my moments and I have my triggers and I have lots of stuff that comes up that I, you know, push through, uh, to take care of the kiddos. And, um, I'm almost always surrounded by people in one way or another, whether it be my kids, family, friends. Um, there's always somebody around. And so more often than not, my evenings are my time where I like really, it's not that I let my guard down because I never really have a guard up, but I kind of just let some of those feelings take over a little bit more um, than I would during the day. And, um, and so, like while we're doing videos, while we're recording, while we're uh, while we're out and doing things as a family, I'm really focused on the now and uh, and the idea that Sarah's with us, doing all of these adventures with us in our hearts, and so it's it's not that I'm ignoring it. It's not that I'm um, forgetting anything. It's that the moments. Now, I really need to be in that present time. And I've kind of always been like that. And Sarah was too, and, and Brayden is too, and Rayla's, Rayla's a little firecracker. And so we're in these moments, and they're, they're absolutely beautiful and wonderful. And, and I was walking with Brayden the other day, and I was like, don't you feel sad that you'll never be able to do X, Y, and Z with your mom again? And he's like, yeah, but aren't you happy that you got to do that with mom? I'm like, well, crap, you're a genius. And that's just that little, that little chat with, with Braden at that moment. And that was early on. Um, but that, that chat, I keep thinking about more and more. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I should be definitely celebrating our moments that we had and not, dwelling on the fact that we're not going to have those with Sarah again. And that's okay, because we're not. We're not going to have those moments with Sarah again. But we have the moments that we had, and I love them. <sighs> today, <laughs> I, I talked about these things in, in counseling today. I had my first appointment with grief counselor today. And I've never been one to want to do counseling. I feel like I've got my feels, my emotions. I'm pretty aware of how I'm doing. Um, and over the past few months, that's kind of been slipping more. Uh, just because of all the unknowns and, and dealing with cancer and uh, all of the lead up to Sarah's death and all of the fallout from Sarah's death. And so it's been, it's been 
a really good experience. My first appointment happened today. It was about 40 minutes and we just chatted. It was really, really nice to sit and talk. It was over the phone, but sit and talk with somebody that has an outside perspective that understands grief and that didn't feel like they needed to give advice, which was really nice. Like, yeah, we talked to counselors for advice, but um, I think she understood that that's, I wasn't looking for advice. I was just wanting to kind of start this first, um, first meeting, I guess, with her as a chance to just share share what we've gone through, uh, how it's impacted us, what we're doing to kind of move forward with our family. And it was nice to get some affirmation that we're doing a good job. And it, we see it in the comments too. And I know we're doing a good job. <laughs> I feel like we're doing a good job. Um, but there's always like, what's next? And after going through a trauma like this, there's the unknown. There's, there's how do we like, once we get to a point where things are back to our new normal, like, what's that going to be like? And, and it's just a weird feeling of unknowing and it's, it's kind of scary. And what was uh, nice when, when talking with, the grief counselor is she's like that's kind of gonna always be there and it, it really is i think that's just life the unknown tomorrow is unknown and and that's okay it's okay to be nervous about it and she she was really impressed with us kind of going out and doing things that make other people feel good so like our our uh acts of kindness videos and not just videos but we're doing other stuff kind of off to the side um like when we go out in public um not for videos but just just to be kind and she's like that's a really really great way to channel all of these different emotions um while at the same time allowing time to to really let yourself have all the feels because it's okay to have two different things, two opposites be true. We can be 100% happy and completely heartbroken at the same time. I can be running around playing with my kids at the beach and still feel that tug, that, that sadness um, of having Sarah be gone. And that's okay. And it's okay to know that she would completely 100% agree with what we're doing and that I'm not curled up in the fetal position crying my eyes out day in and day out, ignoring my kids, right? So counseling went really, really well. And it was, it was really basic. It wasn't, there was no like huge aha moments. There was, there was no trying to fix anything. It was just talking um, about the situation, about the kids, how we're all dealing with things. And, and we're dealing with things pretty well. It's early though. <laughs> Not that I say I'm going to be like having some big downfall, but, but grief hits all the time. Grief is just, it's always there. Uh, to some extent, I'm always going to feel sad about the loss of Sarah. That's, that's just how it is, I think. But that doesn't mean I can't at the same time live a life with my family. That doesn't mean we can't have adventures. For me, it means I need to. We should. We've got to get out and, and do things. Do all the things that we want to do. Not just the things that Sarah wanted to do with us, but all the things that we want to do. And those are going to change, you know? So we're, we're going to go snowboarding. We're going to do those things. 
we're going to go camping. We're going to go backpacking. Those are all things that we would have loved to do with Sarah and know that we missed out these last few years on doing those with her because of what was going on. Um, and we're going to do those and we're going to go back to Disneyland and we're going to go to New Zealand at some point and spread some of her ashes somewhere that she really wanted to go. Um, but other adventures are going to come up as well. And we're going to do those too. Grasshopper. <laughs> it's not just, it's not just what Sarah wanted that we're going to do. It's, it's what we wanted as a family. We wanted to have adventures. We wanted to spread kindness. You know, we, we just, we want to be happy. And we're going to be happy. And we're going to be sad. And we're going to be heartbroken. And we're going to be lost and confused and angry. And all those things. And it's okay. It's okay that we're going to feel all these different feelings all at the same time sometimes um but what's what's beautiful i think for me is that while sarah was with us we were so open and honest about how we were feeling we were so open and honest about what was going on that brayden and amelia got a really really Ah, uh, good. I don't want to say head start, but just a uh, understanding and um, awareness and comfortable with those emotions, with those fears, with those sadnesses, with the heartbreak that was coming. And so we all kind of got to go down that road together um, and hold strong together. And man, Sarah's strength, right? She 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 led that charge because the cancer was hers so she led it she shared her story she she confronted all of those emotions head on allowing all of us to be very open about it and confront them together and that's allowing amelia to be able to go to work and be a normal person it's allowing Braden to continue on doing the things that he loves doing and still be open with me about how he's feeling. And it's allowed us all to be able to still play with Rayla, even when she's asking, where's mommy? Which is slimmed down now that we've got mommy's ashes because she knows where mommy is all the time. <sighs> Talking with a counselor today was a really big relief. More so than I thought it was going to be. I think it's just the ability to talk to someone who hears so many perspectives and able to, to listen and, and share experience. And it was really, really um, just relaxing for me. It was good. It was really good. So if you're going through similar issues and you haven't spoken with a counselor yet, Go for it. It's uh, it's not going to hurt anything. And if you don't like it, then you don't like it. And that's cool. But um, yeah, it, it definitely helped me. Um, I've got another appointment in a few weeks. And, and we'll see how things progress and how grief, you know, impacts my life and our lives and, and whatnot. So, yeah. There's so many other things to talk about. <laughs> But we're gonna, we're gonna, I think, call it good here. Um, yeah, yeah. In the in my my next video, my next vlog, I think, which will be Thursday, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about grief and its ability to cripple people, and I wanna wanna share my experience. And, uh, and just how I feel about grief in general. And I hope that kind of helps people um, with their challenges with grief and how crippling it can be. So that's it. I'm going to end there. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are. I appreciate you all so much. And thank you for joining us on this 
journey, this nightmare, this beautiful life that we are, are um, continuing to have with Sarah in our hearts. And as she would always say, be kind and please make good choices. Bye. Oh. I don't know if that turned it off or not. <laughs>